delighted to be here. And in the Mohawk tradition, any gathering of any import is begun with a hondu kariwateko, and that means the words that come before all else. And they are words of gratitude. So the core principle, the kind of center of our being, is rooted in gratitude. And so the fact that we're all gathered here today is a source of deep and profound gratitude. We, <laughs> I almost started a song. <laughs> we are the children of the ones who did not die. We are the children of the people who could fly. We are the children of the ones who persevered. We are fearless, we are strong, and we're ready to carry on. That's a song that I learned at the Highlander Center. I used to be on their board. And the, one of the staff people taught us that song. And it's powerful because it reminds us both that we have a legacy that we stand on. We have shoulders that we're standing on. And also that our commitment is to the generations who come after us. And so as you stand here in this semicircle, just close your eyes for a minute and imagine, even if your own individual lineage was a bit funky, it's okay, because we have a shared lineage of all those generations who worked to protect our Mother Earth, who worked to make life sacred. And we can claim them as our ancestors because when they prayed, they were thinking of us. And now as we pray, we think about the generations who are coming after us. So I spent the day yesterday on the train taking my two youngest grandkids who are nine and 11 to Sacramento. And we went to Old Sac and then we went swimming at my friend's house. And when I look at them, it's tangible. It's tangible what I'm working for. It's for them and their children and their children's children. And so I invite you now as we kind of gather and begin the more formal part of this gathering. And thanks to all the energy that got raised in these last minutes as people were singing and chanting. So I invite you to hold in your mind's eye the face of someone for whom you stand here today. So if you've got kids and grandkids, put their pictures in your mind. If you don't, just anyone in the future generations, because they, they can't live without Earth. They can't live without our mother. And so what we do, we do for them. And so I invite you to hold them in your heart and in your mind as we say, Aguego Oska Ondu Dewa, when only name Bonigora, and on the day they knew what I do name Ongue so far. A tone you don't have name Bonigora. We send love and gratitude to all of the people, the people gathered here, the people in the building who are working, trying to communicate our passion and commitment, and to all of the people all over the world who are living with the consequences of the mess that we've made. We pray for healing for Earth and for us and for all of our non-human relatives because we are an ecosystem. And so we tap into that subterranean place where we are all connected in deep, deep ways. That we can find ourselves in the midst of that connection 
so that we know that we are all related. And now our minds are one. So.